Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome all to our beautiful uh, little cave, I suppose you can call it this <laughs> evening. Uh, so I'm Maureen Rua. I'm from Cork in Ireland. And I'm going to be singing a selection of mostly <coughs> Irish songs for you this evening that I am what we call a Gael Gore. So I grew up speaking the Irish language, Gaelga or Gaelic as it's known in English, as my first language. Uh, so as a result, I developed a huge interest in Irish music. And also it's a great way to shit talk people when you're abroad. So Irish has many parts <laughs> indeed. Uh, so I'm going to start with what could be called one of the greatest hits in Irish music. It's called Marilla Mar, which translates as My Gallant Love. But in Irish music, we have many, many love songs, but we're not pining for a person. We're pining for our country. Because we were so oppressed by the British, they not only tried to crush our spirits, but also our culture. So we had to find sneaky ways to express our communal emotions through music, but without being very obvious. So Marie Lamar is one of these songs pining for a free Ireland. <clears throat> unbiased opinion is one of the most beautifully poetic languages uh, that I've ever come across and it really lends itself that there's a lot of sibilance in the language and there's a lot of more guttural kind of throaty sounds than exist in English in some ways some people draw parallels to Arabic that we have this hard like <laughs> sound um, but this song that I'm about to sing makes use of it in a much softer way so this is a lullaby it's called Shahi and so Show. And again, it's just a beautiful depiction of this very idyllic natural scene as a mother lulls her child to sleep. <clears throat> and fuckle of the day, word of the day in Irish, water is ishka. Let's hear it. Ishka. Ishka. <laughs> so you see, you came here to be entertained and also to learn. <clears throat> Shahian show, will you, will you, Shahian show, Thank you. 
A lot of the songs that we sing in Irish, we actually sing without accompaniment. This is a tradition that's known as Shan Nos, or the old style. And it comes from, again, the fact that we were broke, we were peasants, we were farmers, and we didn't have any instruments. So we had to make our own music and make our own fun, and we developed a culture of uh, singing unaccompanied. And uh, we have a lot of very interesting singers in Ireland who use different vocal techniques with their noses, with their throats, with their tongues, to create these sounds. Um, anyway, the next song I am going to sing is in English. It is Bird Song by Florence and the Machine. Okay. And uh, Mood is going to accompany me on guitar. Barely, yeah. I, yeah, thank God. Yeah, with me, yeah. Why not? Yeah, with my singer. Uh, with my Just a second, technical difficulties? Yeah, technical difficulties. Yeah, the, uh, another one, like uh, another one. Thank you. No, this is not my Okay, one. anyway, while Mood sets up his phone, I'm going to sing another song. And uh, it's called O Roma Vaudine. And this is a sailing song or a rowing song. Um, when, uh, no, we'll come to that. So, uh, this is a song about being out in your boat and fishing. Um, and it's also about, again, it's about immigrants, Irish immigrants, who left the country to seek a better life in the UK or in America. And it's about them rowing in their little boat on their way home. So crossing the Atlantic to come back to the Emerald Isle. Crochem is <clears> going <throat> Should I go, go in? Can I sing? So loud. So loud. Uh, 
Yeah. Huh? He sang so loud. Okay. Go. Okay. So this is a song by a fellow redhead, a very famous one, Florence and the Machine. And uh, it's just something a little bit different. Uh, I feel that we gingers, we have to stick together. So I'm uh, proud to be representing this evening. <laughs> So give me the first chord, please. Mm, okay. Well, I didn't tell anyone, but a bird flew by. So what I done, he sat up and asked outside. And he sang about what I'd become, he sang so loud. that it is, we have a little Christmas song. This one is called Dun Iha Ud Imehel, and it means that night yonder in Bethlehem. So this is an unusual song. We don't have many original Christmas carols in Irish, that we have many translations of English, of German, of uh, different ones. But this one is written in a traditional Irish style, and obviously all of the lyrics are Oscoilga. <clears throat> So, this is the Iha Udemeho. So feel free to close your eyes and to imagine an open fireplace just to really enhance the festive mood. <clears throat> Oh, 
my next song is a little departure from the Christmas theme, but this song is called Terra Valia Ru, and it means get home. And it's a song about a young lady, not so different to myself, who wants to go out on the town and tear it up. But uh, she works, she's from a farming family and her father and her mother are absolutely driven demented trying to her to get home and to go to bed early and to get up on time to do her farm work. And even worse, this young lady is already engaged to a very well respected man in the town. But to be quite honest, she couldn't give a crap and she's going to go out and party anyway. So for this song, I would like to invite Brian on the stage to be my very cantankerous father. Don't worry, Brian, I'm going to instruct you. So can we get a big round of applause for Brian as the cranky father? So Brian, what we're going to do is, don't worry, you only need to come in at the end. Okay. I'm going to sing the song and then at the end, you are going to say, Tha the Varega Denta, which means your deal is 